Now, moving on to another story. Artists and scientists are joining forces in a new exhibition, taking visitors on a virtual journey through the human body. But how do you exit? Reporter Rachel Papasoni went along for a look. I can tell you. <laughs> this morning we're taking a unique look inside the human body. I'm at an exhibition in Sydney that's bringing the science and art worlds together to tell me how it all works is artist and curator John McGee. John, behind us is an image uh, that could be a, a beautiful piece of art, but it's based on the human body. What are we looking at? So this is the human vascular system, and it's taken from live MRI data from an actual patient. And what we're trying to explore is new ways of communicating to patients how and what's happening in their bodies, particularly their disease. However, we're also trying to look at um, the emotional aspects. How do we represent this data? How do we make it look to make it meaningful and potentially impact on the rehabilitation as well as communication? So you take a, an image, a, a black and white MRI scan that, that many people may be familiar with, but are making it uh, more real for patients? Yeah, exactly. We take the raw MRI data, the scan data, and we turn it into three dimensions. And we actually start to bring it to life, to tell the story of the disease that the patient might have, and actually start to communicate to them how blood is moving through the body, and how and what is happening in terms of their disease process. It's quite interactive as well. You can actually take a journey inside. Absolutely. So what we're trying to do is just move beyond just playing videos to patients. We're looking at actually letting them experience their data. So we're using Oculus Rift VR headsets to take patients inside, for instance, their aorta, and then let them experience blood flow and how the body works. And it's a bit like the film Fantastic Voyage. We want to really give them that full experience of how their body works. It's quite incredible um, how you get from an MRI to, to something that could be appreciated as art on its own. Absolutely, and this is where the aesthetics come in. How do we represent things to make them meaningful to an individual? And that's really about what art and design does. We take the complexities of the world and we turn it into things that people can experience. And this is a, a perfect example of taking the complexity of data and disease and turning it into something that can become meaningful and impact on patients' lives. Perfect. Thanks so much, John. Well, this uh, exhibition is on display at the University of New South Wales here in Sydney until November. There's interactive video art and photographs, all kinds of art that are using the human body as a, a beautiful piece of art.